and welcome back once again to the SS Maynard YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in and today I figured I would show you some stuff I've been working on at work. This was a one-off part for a customer, just somebody who walked in the door and they wanted a I guess is what's called a cap stand for pulling crab pots. This thing hooks to a uh, electric motor and you wrap a rope around it uh, about one full turn and when you apply tension to the rope it binds on this pulley just enough to or capstan just enough to pull the rope for you and it's for pulling crab pots up off the bottom of the bay and it's pretty cool here I just got some footage of <clears throat> running the machine, you know, turning down the raw stock to major diameter of the part. So we're turning down three and a half inch diameter 6061 uh, T6 aluminum. Uh, starts at three and a half inch diameter because that's what I had laying around. And we turned it down to three inch before we start doing the profile taking off two hundred thousandths of an inch from the diameter at a time so that's a hundred thousandths depth of cut and I believe we're pushing about eleven and a half thousandths of material removal per revolution finish is coming out very nice good carbide inserts with the right geometry helps good so I had to slow this down, and of course I'm filming through safety glass, but I slowed it down so you know you could see it a little bit better, because if I run were to run it at full speed while recording, this just happens in a flash, and I'd you know get 10 seconds of video and it'd be done. But we paused it so I could get some still shots, and the safety glass gets all the cutting fluid or coolant all over the window. It's a mixture of a specific type of cutting oil and water and it helps uh, keep the material from sticking to the cutting inserts and and we're diving in there with a carbide inserted cutter and it's doing pretty good um, I took the probably conservative route with the tool paths on this and you know just kind of played it safe since it's a one-off part and I didn't have a whole lot of material to spare I basically had one shot at getting this part correct the first time around and didn't really want to screw that up so we uh, just played it safe went kind of slow altogether I think uh, total machine runtime on this part was probably less than four minutes but you know we're starting to get down to the final profile there it is we gotta you know groove it and cut it off and catch it in the parts catcher so it's there I'm showing it's three inch diameter. Here we're gonna do a peck drilling cycle, which means we just drill in a little bit and then retract and drill in a little bit more and retract. This is live tooling in a lathe and it's pretty handy because it allows you to be a lot more precise with your uh, hole placement than say on a drill press or offline on a separate operation. So everything's referenced to the single program and everything lines up and goes exactly where it's supposed to. Um, this is pretty cool though. It's an eighth inch drill bit and we're drilling in uh, through the side of the part down into the center bore so that uh, we can fit a axle drive shaft in it later to allow it to couple to the electric motor. And there's uh, the print and the final part before the axle shaft. There's the axle shaft installed in it and the roll pin driven through. Um, and it, it turned out really nice. Uh, I, I guess the customer was more than pleased with it, and um, I'm hoping it's serving him well. But uh, pulling crab pots is kind of a pain, but if you had a tool like, like this, you know, the drive wheel and the pulley, it'd probably help out. So the original was plastic. He wanted an aluminum one. I don't know if it was for looks or maybe the aluminum works better, but, you know, I just wanted to give you a quick show of kind of some of the things that I do at work. And as always, stay safe. I'll see you next time.